If you are under the age of 18 and are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a quick uh, process tutorial for Alina Cuddle. I am sharing with you a pizza box Christmas card set using the following dies that you see here. Pizza box die, a layer die, some acetate, some gold foil, and some flat back pearls. All of this will be listed down below in the description box. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some black cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. This is the Serial Black. I'm going to take that piece of die and that layer frame die and die cut it out with a window using the layer frame. And this is how it should look. This is how it should look when it's done die cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, some double-sided tape. That's one inch double-sided tape. You can find this also in the description box below. And I'm going to put it around the perimeter of the top of the pizza box. And I have my little handy-dandy pokey tool there on the side to help me rip that off um, the edges. I'm going to take my bone folder and score that down and make sure that that's pressed um, against the paper uh, securely. And then remove the backing of the tape. I'm going to use the PVC acetate uh, from Alina and I've cut that down to a nice little square that'll fit on the top of the pizza box and I use my bone folder to adhere everything together. So the next thing we're going to do is just put this together. Uh, all of the dies or both of these dies come with perforated marks so you're able to just fold those over at the perforations. Uh, points and secure them with hot glue at the corners. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm using um, my hot glue gun for this part because I think it holds a lot better than wet glue or double sided tape. So, you know, I love me some hot glue. So go ahead and put the bottom of the box together. And then this is the top or the lid. I just put a little bit of the hot glue on the back and secure that to the bottom of the piece box. And now it's all put together. I love that cute little window, great little gift and quick and easy to put together. So I'm going to take some more of the layer frame dies and these are the ones that I'm using. I'm going to make a card base using the larger die. I just line it up just above the edge enough to cut it and run it through my die cutting machine. And that's what it looks when it uh, comes out of the uh, machine. I'm using a vagabond. The leftover piece from the pizza box, I'm going to use that as a tag. And I also cut out various sizes in uh, those three different colors that you see off to the side. I'm using Smart White and Wild Cherry Red and also Mirror Gold and Cereal Black, all from Cardstock Warehouse. I'm using some Nouveau Wet Glue uh, to layer these two dies, and that is where the sentiment will go. I'm not sure if I'm going to stamp anything or write anything on there yet, but that's where it'll go. I'm taking the gold layer, which is the same size, um, one down size from the base, and layering that on top of the base, leaving a little bit at the top um, without any glue because that part will be shown. And then I forgot to add my um, ribbon, so I just did that really quick. It wasn't dry yet, so I was able to slide some ribbon in through there. I'm going to layer, um, this is going to be on the bottom of my box. I'm using my custom stamp that I got off Etsy that says, I think it says handmade for you or, or created for you by Scrap the World with a little photo on there. And I stamped that using some jet black ink. I'm going to layer that on top of each other with some hot glue and put it on the bottom of the box. So now I'm going to take my Go Press foil um, machine, which I absolutely love. I've used this several times now, and I and I love it. And I'm going to use the uh, foil from Alina and this cute little uh, Christmas uh, stamp set or die set that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to cut the foil down to size um, with the sentiment that I want to use. And I'm going to lay that on top. It's all ready. Um, I'm using um, this heat press to warm up my die. I'm going to layer my foil once I think it's ready. It's a little timer there. You guys can Google how this machine works. Really, really cool. Layer the foil and some extra little shims on there. Run it through my die cutting machine. And with the magic of YouTube and TV, voila, look how that's pressed. It's also debossed in there as well. If you get a little bit extra foil, just take a gum or eraser and just rub that extra off. 
I'm using my die cut there to cut around that. And there we have the perfect sentiment. Now I'm going to add some pop dots to the back of this and some hot glue to raise it up a little bit from the backing and lay that right on top um, there. Super easy. You have your card base using just a die set. I'm using the flower set that I made in a previous video, Alina Cuddle Design Team Project. I'll put that down below in the description box as well. Also some leaves that I uh, have in my stash. Cutting off just two of the petals, layering them on top using some hot glue. And then I'm going to lay that on the card base along with that pack of flowers that I made in the previous video. They come, they came in handy. So, it, and it fits my card size perfectly. So I'm just going to use those um, for my cards. And also I'm going to top it off with a little bit of the flat back pearls, which I'm admiring my car right now. It's super cute, but I'm like, oh, one more thing. Forgot the finishing touch. I got to add a little bit of dot of my wet glue and find a pearl that'll fit to size. Some of them have two, some have one, depending on where I place my flower. But this one has one. Put that on there and now I am done with this card. But wait, there's more. I have three more cards that I made <laughs> the exact same way. So I made a cute little card set. I'm going to put this card set in the pizza box that we just created, making sure that everything is nice and um, neat in there. And that's why I love the little window on the top that we made with a little acetate there so that the cards can peek through. And it makes it nice when you're giving it to someone. Finishing up, closing the box with a little bit of pretty stamp, and there we have it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Be sure to check the links down below in the description box for all of the items that I have listed in this video. And don't forget to check out the 1111 sale on AliExpress. Like this video if you like it, and let me know what you guys think. Talk to you soon. Bye.